Folks, as I stand in an empty room, it is time to finally say goodbye to the Oni Bridge Diorama. But there is a silver lining. A cornerstone of this community, this build has carried me through years of content creation, and I am happy to say that it is going to a brand new home with a brand new collector. But before we get into that, there is a month left to enter the world's largest Halo animation contest. The Toymation Fest has returned. Link down below. You can enter for a chance to win some incredible prizes by making a flood-based stop-motion animation. And if you know a thing or two about animating, make a tutorial about stop-motion animation within the next week. And if you DM me on Twitter or Instagram Motion Domain, and I feature you in my montage of how to make a stop-motion animation, I'll send you a cool Halo goodie bag. This thing has been just my identity in this community for years. And as I'm redecorating my bedroom, I'll show you there's basically nothing left. It's time to move on, like it has to be. I don't have any space to store it anymore. I'm redesigning my bedroom completely from the ground up. That's a nice box of Halo Mega. After this place is redesigned, it's gonna be a really nice office with so much more space to work. There's just, unfortunately, there's no space for the Oni Bridge anymore. It's just that simple. So I had a choice. Either take it apart and put it in boxes forever, or find a new home. So I put a short video out advertising that it was for sale. I got interest from like 20 or 30 people. I was so humbled with how many uh, actual members of the community wanted to buy this. I mean, not only is it a great diorama, not only is it like over 700 pieces and a lot of legacy products are inside, it's it. also just, yeah, a really important milestone in the Halo Mega community. I mean, this diorama has been viewed probably over half a million times. It's wonderful to know that it's not gonna be broken down, it's not gonna be sat in a box in the attic, it's gonna be displayed by a collector who's passionate about Halo Mega, and that's what I wanted more than anything. So it's being shipped off to a buddy in Canada. Once he's actually confirmed that he's okay with me sharing his details, I'll put his Instagram in a future video, and you can all go follow future adventures of the Oni Bridge Diorama. I've been feeling melancholy about it, and I thought there was only one thing left to do. I've decorated the diorama with original old articulation ODSTs, each with a classic painted Halo UNSC weapon. This bridge has been under siege so many times by the Flood, the Banish, the Covenant, and they won. The bridge is secured. All of that hard work was for something. And now all the ODSTs are here to rebuild New Mombasa in a new image. So I'm gonna sign this video off with a montage of all of these old articulation ODSTs. And if the nostalgia doesn't bring a tear to your eye, I don't know what will. I've been making Halo videos for over 12 years on this channel. When I rebranded and restarted the domain during lockdown, the Oni Bridge was the first video that trended, the first video that got me started and inspired again to make content. After that rebrand, I've lived in Hong Kong and America, and I've not been home that much, but when I come home, I always know that this bridge is there to make a new diorama, to reignite my passion for diorama making, and that happened again for the final time with the banished invasion of the bridge. I released that about a month and a half ago, and again, like, I've been a bit burnt out by YouTube, but that video inspired me. So now that this diorama is gone, there will be a void that needs filling, and I plan to do something crazy for my next big diorama. So thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for the support, and there's no better character to sign this off than Avery the ODST, the original mascot of the SS Motion. He's going to be standing proud over the bridge, watching as his ODST squadron rebuilds New Mombasa.